but you don't you don't actually plan for that uh, oftentimes and what claim does <laughs> hi my name is uh, my name is julian i'm the lead engineer and what that entails is pretty much me talking to everybody uh, external and internal in the company finding out what our problems are and trying to help fix them and sometimes enabling my, my colleagues sometimes uh, talking to customers directly or uh, sometimes also you know uh, fielding escalation calls to alleviate any issues so I've got a lot of meeting pressure basically in my calendar right and then still uh, a lot of deep focus work that I also need to do um, so we can actually get some of the problems that I talk about and get them addressed as well right get them actually solved so it's always sort of a struggle finding finding the balance basically between uh, focus work versus talking uh, talking to people. I uh, took a lot of organizational classes and, and tried to improve both my resiliency and my, my methods and, and what I was actually doing. I had a bunch of to-dos that I would put in my calendar manually and move them around whenever anything changed, which triggered this cascade of events. And then I had to move something else to, to make space for that, et cetera, et cetera. In a week, easily something between five to 10 hours, I would say, maybe sometimes more. It's right? fiddling with all the events in calendar. One thing leads to another, and then you also have to balance the issues with each other. Think about priorities. Is this customer more important than that? Is this internal problem more important than an external partners or whatever? Then I have to move everything else again. So how would I, would I accommodate that right? and, and try to keep everything under control all the time? It was a lot of you know mental load in addition to the actual time I was spending, I would say. And uh, that is just something I've offloaded, basically. <laughs> so smart meetings are really, really cool because I can just sort of set them and forget them. And then if there is an issue, it comes back to me, right? I can configure them to uh, stay on my calendar and I really like that feature. I do a lot better with honoring my agreements uh, internally, like the, the one-on-ones with uh, team members, or that's much easier to handle now. I just have a different time slot, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. or something. I've assigned that to sort of deep work. I will use that for tasks specifically, right? Uh, in contrast to any of the meetings and, and other things, which is exactly what I want. Uh, without me having to manually move, pull them around and, and uh, fit them into my private life sometimes and, and all that stuff. I have the decompression time set uh, on many of my meetings. That's also very helpful. Just have to, a little breather that people don't do that, right? People just put events after event after event, and then you don't have any time to take a breather, yes, but even just to look at your notes and maybe put notes into your CRM or your ERP or whatever. You're succeeding. Uh, thank you for doing what you do. Uh, keep doing the good work. And thank you for having me.